but more importantly it's open on top so you don't feel like it's a closed off bedroom <laughs> This is the most open bedroom I've ever seen. This is really good. Yeah, doesn't feel it. it that window did the trick. <laughs> so, I'm, so I'm the how to buy a mansion guy. I buy mansions for my clients. I critique mansions. I consult on mansion design. Link is in the description. Let's critique and review this mansion tour video so you get good at spotting the flaws so you won't overpay for property. My name is Arvin Haddad. Let's go. What's up, everybody? It's Enes here, and welcome to another episode. This week, we're in Aix-en-Provence here in south of France and about to tour this stunning contemporary estate. This home has seven bedrooms. Seven bedrooms. That's important. We're going to come back to it. But I'm going to ask you a question. What do you think was the inspiration behind this design? Think about it. I sometimes pause the video, ask you guys questions, so you guys will get better at this. I'm going to tell you guys later in the video, okay? Eight bathrooms. 500 square meters of interior space built on a 6,725 square meter lot. And this property is currently on the market for 8.9 million euros. Let's begin our tour. From the street level, we have a private, long, cobblestone driveway. Okay, approach is there. Private driveway. If you're a subscriber to the channel, you know this. Very important. Creates a separation. Creates anticipation. Very good. So far, so good. That brings you up to the property. As you're driving up, everything is beautifully landed. Okay, did you notice that? It's a golf course property. Again, another plus. So far, so good. And it brings you to these doors right here where it opens up your subterranean garage. It's a beautiful modern architecture. I love the minimalist lines, concrete finish on the exterior facade, walls of glass opening up towards amazing views that we're gonna see later in the video. And lastly, we have this glass pool that looks stunning. It's located on the main level. Okay, so you know, the curb appeal is questionable. It's kind of hiding, right? But you know, I have to say the water feature swimming pool is pretty cool. It goes with the modern design, not bad. All right, everyone, here we are on the main floor. Uh, excuse me, uh, Ines, uh, where is the front door? Uh, did you guys notice that? There is no front door. Your guests have to come through the garage to get to the house. The whole point of the private driveway is to create anticipation, is to create class. It creates kind of like that, oh, I'm going to show you what's up. I'm going to wow you. I'm going to bring you in, spin your head around and open your eyes and go boom. No, you got to go through the basement. Take the stairs to come up to see the house. That's a major flaw. And before we check out the interior space, I actually want to take everybody this way. We have another sliding glass door here, currently pocketed into the wall, and this space flows straight to the backyard. Now, this part of the home is very... I don't know if I would call it the backyard. I think it's more of a side yard, but I like it. I have to say, I'm a sucker for olive trees. Furniture is really nice. The vegetation, you know, it's very well manicured. Very good balance. It's a place where I wouldn't mind hanging out, and I don't mind that it's closed off and private it's good to have that super private you don't see any neighbors surrounded with beautiful trees olive trees in the center and i love how they picked up the floor elevation with this decking setup here we have the recessed in floor lighting outdoor seating area on this side and going here your outdoor space pretty much continues outdoor dining area your barbecue setup great side yard i think it's a great side yard. beautiful place for outdoor dining you know, it's more in nature tone and it's private. Very good. So far, so good. Okay, let's take everybody back inside. And I got to talk about some of these subtle details. Limestone throughout the property. They have it also on the outside, but they are elevated decking. Okay, pay attention to the staircase. Again, they went all glass. If you put a really, you know, 
uh, any other type of a stairway it's going to be blocking the view but from that side you can see the olive trees from this side you can see the view on the other side good choice look at this glass assembly here by the way this is not the exterior glass assembly this is a staircase glass assembly you can actually see those stainless steel threads bolted on each side super modern also i want to mention right off the landing we actually have a seamless door opening up to a powder room so there is no foyer you walk in into your freaking garage you take the stairs up and then you go straight to the bathroom like it's really good if you really got to go but beside that there is no landing area that was five foot by five foot that's not a, that's like a hallway very narrow hallway it's not a landing area it's just and it's kind of weird that just opens up i don't know if it's really feng shui to, you know you open the doors to the bathroom it's it's pretty bad actually let's go this way the first area we see is this seating section we got an awesome couch set up here matching two chairs and it's all focused on this side where we have this kind of floating fireplace assembly i say floating because the upper body has a reveal detail Okay, so this reminds me of this Mark Rothko. I don't know if you've ever seen his paintings. It's just like orange, you know, red. It's just like one color and they're massive. This would be like a stainless steel version. And what it's supposed to do is people who are terminally ill uh, by kind of looking at the grandness of it, and also the ambiguity of like, what the hell am I looking like an orange color? You're not going to find answers always. And somebody who's terminally ill, like they, you know, they want to know why it happened to them and everything. And you know, it kind of helps them just come to terms with it, that this is life and everything. And this kind of reminds me of that. It's just the stainless steel version. It goes with this type of architecture. Not bad. It goes really well with the sleek lines of this home. Yeah. Is that stainless? It is stainless. Very nice. Yep. Now, before we cover the common areas, I actually want to take everybody this way. I'm so excited for this tour because there are so many cool details in this house. Look at this pivot door. So if you're a subscriber to the channel, you know, pivot doors, the bigger they get, they could get stuck and it has issues. This one is not so bad, but it is weird that we're walking into the walk-in closet before entering the room. That shouldn't be normal to you. If you see that, like, you know, they're cutting corners here, okay? A lot of built-in cabinetry here. Really goes well with the organic lines of this home. And following this hallway, it takes us to the first bedroom on this level. We have the king size bed set up here built out of the same wood paneling that we're going to see throughout. And the first detail I want to talk about is this, this massive picture window looking to a, a wall, massive picture window looking to a wall. You know, the whole Mark Rothko example I gave you, it took it to another level. It's like, you know what? There is no mean, there's no ambiguity. Life is meaningless. Just break the glass and jump down. What is this? Why did you make such a big picture window to look at a wall? Really? Okay, you know, there's a golf course right there. There's all, you know, olive trees right around the corner. Nope, not allowed. No, no, yeah, impossible. No, yeah. you know, okay, yeah, don't look. <laughs> okay, we gotta look at the wall for now. Courtyard on the lower level, but more importantly, it's open on top. It allows a ton of natural light to come into this bedroom, so you don't feel like it's a closed off bedroom. <laughs> This is the most open bedroom I've ever seen. This is really good. Yeah, doesn't feel it. it that window did the trick. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. It's incredibly private. You never really have to put your shades. It is private. I give you that. Super cool. And on this side, we have the TV set up here. And this barn door opens up to an exquisite bathroom dedicated for this bedroom i mean we have marble everywhere you know where else they have marble everywhere in cemeteries in islamic republic like, it's just all the graves are marble the same color yeah like a little bit of natural wood you know like maybe a break uh, you know from the, <laughs> the enclosed bedroom please some sort of a like a natural element here i don't want to feel like i'm in a jail cell please something and mikey let's focus on the other side obviously i have the water closet behind me and in here we got this spacious seamless walk-in shower i say seamless because there are hardly any cuts on this marble we have the drain tucked nicely underneath the bench your shampoonage brush nickel fixtures and a nice light box designed to make this bathroom feel a little bit more spacious and a massive rain head can you spot that flaw three two one it's a very narrow entrance right like ennis has to turn sideways to get in do you know what why they have designed it this way it's because there's a weight restriction there 
no one above 250 pounds should enter because if they do it will collapse so this is a very analog way <laughs> stopping people this is horrible it's horrible now i want to take everybody back and cover some of the common areas here i feel like the word common doesn't do justice when you have an incredible contemporary home like this first off look at the seating area mikey to give everybody a little bit of scale i'm gonna go down you have a sunken built-in seating area. this reminds me of mongeon hotel like sky bar in la and they built that like 20 years ago uh, it, it's pretty bad. And to make it even better, we have automatic sliding glass doors throughout this entire wing that fully pockets into the walls and opens up the space to the outdoors. And as if that wasn't enough, they also have the backyard or the patio spaces on the same level. So you get that seamless transition. And I got to talk about this detail here. So we, they got this square wood frame here i say wood because it's clad with wood you have an additional seating area here massive tv and right in the center we have this massive island now you may be wondering in this, uh, it's not so big huh it's a uh, medium size and right behind me we have another pocketing sliding glass door seamlessly opening up to this outdoor space i love this tall wall here which gives a lot of privacy to this room but yet when you're cooking here or hanging out you can easily open these doors like we did right now just let ton of natural light and fresh air come to the space. You have an outdoor kind of seating area here. This is great. I guess this, this would probably be set up maybe as like a dining area. Bingo. Bingo! <laughs> Ines, bingo! Uh, this is no bingo. Uh, it's not dining, uh, Mickey. Uh, don't please don't put the dining table there. The, no, no, no. It's, it's, a, it's a void. Uh, it's a void. It's, it's just a void. It's supposed to be empty. Uh, it uh, contracts uh, the, uh, the open space void okay uh, it's an uh, architectural element uh, come on uh, maybe key you can go have a cigarette but uh, no, no table please don't do that no 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 now another massive door right here opening up to your second kitchen now i said second kitchen because we also have chef's kitchen in this house an espresso maker two ovens and i love the wood veins and textures of the cabinetry and mikey if you actually touch you can feel all the textures. I don't know if it's some sort of a sandblast Whoa. or... <laughs> That's it's like virtual reality going on here. Okay. Texture finish, but it just looks so rich because you have all these concrete and plaster walls. We have a wine fridge here, your paneled in fridge and freezer, another oven setup. You have your induction cooktop here. I love this countertop and backsplash combo with a nice LED lighting. And look above us, Mikey. Massive light box. Yeah, I thought that was a skylight at first. It's uh, a light box. That was not a kitchen. They should have just made it a bar. I don't know why they made it a kitchen. When you look at, you think of France, the culinary experience, <laughs> this would actually be a chef's kitchen. You can get away with it. But if you want to call this the kitchen where everyone hang out while they're cooking, it's the most uninspiring space I've ever seen. Let's take everybody back. We have one more room left on this level, and that's the primary bedroom. So that's another flaw. You only have two bedrooms on the primary floor. You normally want to have at least three. You know, most families have two kids. You cater towards them. They have their kids on the same floor. Not ideal. Overall, main level is incredible. It's all open. Now, as far as architecturally speaking, the void that they had, like architectural voids are, could be cool. And they've used it actually appropriately on this floor because it opened up to two different spaces, two different experiences. By creating a void behind that fake kitchen, you, you know, you're making an architectural statement. You know, you, you're kind of, they say, juxtaposition, right? Again, you create a, a space that is very much so in contrast to the two other options and is balanced on this floor. It works. I, I don't, you know, I don't, I'm not digging the walled bedroom. Okay. That, that was insane. I can't even believe they did that. But over here in this living space, it's cool. It's like where you should be making a statement like that. And architecturally, it does look cool. Incredible indoor outdoor flow. And right here, this seamless door opens up to your primary bedroom hallway. Mikey, let's check out the closet space here. Look how everything is nicely paneled in, right? You got that seamless look. Everything is closing in on you. I mean, this is a very small primary walk-in closet, if you want to call it a walk-in closet. It's very narrow. I don't think you can have two doors open simultaneously at the same time and stand there, right? 
you don't have the space. You kind of have to go open one side and then close it, then turn around and open the other side. Not good at all. And going this way, we have marble on the floors, marble on the walls, and it actually takes us to your primary bathroom. Wait a minute. You have to go through walk-in closet, then the bathroom, and then you get to the bedroom. I've seen like going through one, but I haven't seen like you should like throw skittles behind you so you can find your way back. What are you doing? This is horrible. This bathroom might be one of my favorite bathrooms we've ever toured on this channel. And you're gonna see why. I'm gonna start here. That marble pretty much seamlessly come to this side where we have the open walk-in shower, brush nickel finishes, shampoo niche, massive rain head above. And if you want that real indoor outdoor experience, well, you have these sliding glass doors pocketing into the walls, opening up to a little open courtyard area. I gotta step down here. When someone executes an incredible detail like this one, I have to acknowledge it. First off, I believe this is a tub filler. This is a sunken built-in tub that was poured into the fountain. This is not a tub. This is a coffin. The only person who can fit in this is like a Napoleon himself. It's like really small. Like you can't even bathe. Like you first have to go sideways. You bathe this first half of your body and then you switch side, turn the, to the wall and then bathe the other half. This is horrible. What, what are you doing? It's horrible. You have your brush nickel finishes. And in case you're wondering, how do you fill it up? This is a uh, drain where you can just push the button and clog it. Fill it up when you want to drain it. There you go. I'm gonna I'm gonna get on your nerves eventually saying this, but like, we got to turn that thing on no. if we can. No, <laughs> it looks seamless, Mikey. We have to leave it the way it is. Seamless. This is crazy. We have a double vanity set up here. I say double vanity because it has two openings, fabricated out of the same beautiful marble. One big sink with a hidden drain, wall fixtures knobs and even the outlets are nicely recessed into the marble including this massive mirror i'm not going to go to this side we have another opening here sliding glass door this is where you have your water closet or your toilet setup mikey's going in there to give you guys the best angle possible but sitting down here and using this water closet or toilet setup it's an experience now we have another door here opening up to a primary bedroom suite now although this home has really open and big rooms. Primary suite is actually relatively cozy and kind of good size. Good size? It's half the size of the bathroom. This is the smallest primary I've ever seen. And thank you for giving us a window. I really, really am so grateful. You just went above and beyond. Now I understand what a window really means, you know? You have to take it away from me for me to realize and appreciate what a window could be. We have a sliding glass door here, but instead of pocketing into a wall, it actually goes down to a lower level. So I hope you guys have the footage of that where you can see the glass door rolling. Can you imagine waiting for that? This is like 10x speed, okay? You press it, it goes really, really slowly. Automatic shades, another detail I wanna mention. And we're gonna see these details throughout the property. Mikey, this door right here, it's a safety lock. So let's say something happens and uh, burglars are trying to get into the property, push up a button. We actually have a lot of steel doors locking up the entire house. We have more in the garage and other parts of the home. I'm gonna try to show them as much as possible, but this is one of the assemblies right there. So we've seen guillotine doors, one of our favorite properties. Uh, Hollywood Hills. Hollywood Hills. Yeah, this is, that's another video. If you haven't seen that video, I also critique it. It's, it's a nightmare. And they're seamless and it opens up your primary bedroom straight to the outdoors. Now, I have to put my glasses on because it's super bright outside. This patio gets- Okay, I like the swimming pool. Probably my favorite feature of the house is the swimming pool. I love the fact that they put the steps on the side. You can actually do laps on this pool. I think it's a good contrast. I think they've done a good job. I would say the swimming pool and the side yard are my favorite parts of the house, which are not inside the house. <laughs> They're outside the house. Uh, but yeah, uh, well executed over here. It's all clad with this tile design and on the front and on the side, it has a... Okay, can you guys guess the inspiration behind this design? If you guess bunker, I think you're close, but I personally think the design is inspired by the military pillboxes. They kind of look like a bunker, but they have a little opening where you put the rifle out. And you know, the architect is like probably went to Normandy and you know, saw the Nazi. <laughs> 
uh, pill boxes and got inspired. Talking about a contemporary design, I don't know, it doesn't get much more modern than this. This is amazing. And one more time, look at your peaceful views. So quiet up here, it's so green. This is amazing. And that wraps our tour for the main level. Now let's take the stairs and check out the lower level. All right, everyone, here we are on the lower level. The first detail I wanna talk about is this living wall that gives a ton of color and life. To the entry of the lower floor, we have nice polished concrete floors here. And the first door in front of me opens up to a long pantry space, ton of wardrobes. This is where you store all your stuff. Dude, if this was like an actual pillbox, this is where the troops stay. Right next door, you actually have the chef's kitchen. Now this kitchen is phenomenal and it serves two purposes. Number one, it's chef's kitchen. Number two, this is where you have your laundry room, two washers, two dryers. And I must say, I've never seen a stainless steel washer or dryer in my life before and apparently Mille does them. Like we're really pushing the definition of a chef's kitchen here. I would say this is like the maid's kitchen, not a chef's kitchen. If the chef also has to do the laundry, they're not going to be really happy about that. All right, we have this hallway here, but first, why don't we open up this massive pivot door and check out the garage. This space is really cool. I love this is your wow factor. Can you imagine after coming that beautiful private driveway, you have to come to a garage and like, it feels like you're going to a bunker, you know, it's, it's like a military area. You're like the person who is built or commissioned this building was, you know, thinking about Armageddon or, you know, some sort of a major event or was like Interpol was looking after him. And it was like, you know what? I want it like the last holdout, me and my boys. We're going to hold up here. Why would you want to go through your garage and then the freaking basement to get to the front door? I cannot even fathom. Like, what about your guests? Okay, if you want to do it, sure. But you need to have a separate interest for your guests. It's ridiculous not to have that. Continuing our tour, on our left-hand side, we have a couple storage areas. Right here, I mentioned it on the main floor, we have another set of those panic doors that seals off the garage. And in fact, Mikey, if you go back here, look at that massive uh, black panel there. That's actually a sliding door that seals off this section, oh. fully securing the house. That's why we have. Okay, either this guy who commissioned this property was super, super scared of, you know, golfers and golf balls, or some people were looking for him. Some people were just like really looking for him because this is not normal. Like in South of France, are you kidding? Like who's coming after you, bro? Now, Mikey, let's step inside continue our tour we have this hallway right next to the staircase another door opens up and we have a pocket door here that goes straight into another bedroom this room can either serve as a bedroom but in this case they have a desk set up here thread mill but what's so cool about this room is the fact that it opens up this courtyard on the lower level and that's how they allow natural light to come in from the roof all the way to the lower level of this home. And that's the bedroom we just saw a minute ago, right? Yes. Yeah. Another bedroom. I, can you even call this a bedroom? So that's basically two bedrooms so far that don't have any windows, really. I mean, they have an opening. It's a light well. It's not a window. Now, you may think this is a long hallway where we have a ton of built-in closets. That's what I thought, too. Then I opened up this door, and it turns out it's the sleekest water closet. I mean, we have marble everywhere. This might be the coolest small built-in marble sink I've ever seen in my life. You know, seamlessly blends in. Okay, if you're a subscriber to the channel, you know this, this hallway is super narrow. I like the fact that they're giving it utility, but again, for ultra luxury property to like, if you gotta have a hallway, you should try to avoid it as much as you can. And if you've seen my favorite home, like you can see how much they've tried to avoid having hallways and wasted space. But if you gotta have it, you got to have at least so two people can walk shoulder to shoulder comfortably through the space. Adults, you know, this is just too narrow, way too narrow. It's not luxury. We of course have the recessed floor lights here and going through this opening, we have another bedroom here. Now this is not your everyday bedroom because we have eight built-in bunk bed set up here. This is where your troopers will, you know, uh, sleep. It's like the golfies are coming, <laughs> change the shift. The shift is changing. Can you imagine you spend all this money and then you send your freaking kid all to this freaking rat hole. If you're on a, a like a boat, 
you would get more space than that. This would be like the staff, right? Like the, the stewardess and everyone on the boat who are like servicing the boat, they would get a space like this. Again, you don't have a window. It looks into the freaking other room, which I don't even consider that a bedroom. So far, we've seen four bedrooms with only one of them that has a window and it's actually a pretty small window, but we're very grateful for it. These might be the most modern and thought out bunk bed setups I've ever seen in my life. And it doesn't stop here. They have their built-in desk setup, Mikey, and going back to the hallway, we have a bit of a landing area here, and this bathroom right next to the bedroom that we just saw is dedicated for the kids' room. And I say dedicated because we have two walk-in showers here, rain heads, big vintage design here, again with two faucets, multiple towel heaters, they literally thought about everything. Now, going through this opening, we have the last bedroom on this level. We have a built-in bed setup here, ceiling lighting, ton of wardrobe space, and Mikey, look at that glass window right there. <laughs> you have a window to the swimming pool. Thank you. Again, I'm just grateful. Just don't give me a wall. Can we even call this a bedroom? Seriously. It's not like they wanted to get sexy and give you a swimming pool view. To count it as a bedroom, you need to have some sort of a window. I think they had to do this. So far, we have, what, two, three, five bedrooms, one that has an actual window, and the rest of them don't really have a window to an open space. That's inside of the pool. So you get natural light coming in and it's a super cool view to look at. Wow, that's pretty cool. When I go to South of France, that's the view I want. Get on top of a chair, open it up, and then just sit there and wait for someone to jump in the pool. And since we don't have any windows here, they actually have this opening to get some fresh air to this bedroom. Now, I wanna take everybody to this side. We have a marble vanity design here. And of course, behind that, walk-in shower, towel heater and water closet great bedroom and that's pretty much it fantastic bedroom <laughs> very good bedroom right there now let's go back to the staircase and check out the second floor all right everyone here we are at the second floor landing i know i mentioned it earlier but the staircase coming up here with the stainless steel threads glass sides it's super contemporary i love that design now this part of the home is really unique but first i want to go this direction we have this door opening up to the first bedroom suite and i'm gonna go immediately to the outdoors <laughs> now if you actually look at this house from the outside the second floor of this property can you imagine like the kids fighting over the bedroom and the mom and dad is like Shari, <laughs> don't worry don't worry, we have five other bedrooms with a wall. Everyone gets a wall. <laughs> we have this kind of square box design on top floor and they pushed out the exterior walls to create these patios because we have two bedrooms on this level and each one of the bedrooms gets a spacious patio space like this. That way, rather than getting your natural light through windows, you actually get it through these open ceilings and patio spaces that flows to your bedrooms super super cool super cool you know you could just keep it open and look at the beautiful golf course the olive trees south of france <laughs> but no 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 golf balls uh danger <laughs> very very danger <laughs> no golf balls honestly i've never seen a layout like this before me neither i've critiqued over a thousand mansions okay and i can tell you i've never seen anything like this either floating deck design so we have the drains underneath you kind of have this built-in seating section here and right above us you have these contemporary awning designs sliding glass doors on each side you have your walk-in closet here nicely paneled in and flowing this way you have the bedroom set up king size bed same built-in design that we've been seeing throughout. You have your TV here and the whole bedroom and patio space is totally private. He's really going on the privacy thing. Who goes to south of France to get a very private... You're going there to socialize. <laughs> You're going to south of France to have a good time. Going through this opening, we have the walk-in shower. I have to step inside. I love the minimalist and clean lines of this home. Rain head above professional finishes, seamless floors, vanity setup, and the water closet here. Again, fabricated out of the same marble, and the outdoor space continues. Isn't this amazing? Yeah, this I is mean, really cool. Okay, I'm gonna ask you as a trick question. Where would this be an interesting concept? Like, there's elements of it, like, to have a bathroom in a major metropolitan city, 
where you're next to a ton of other buildings. Having an outdoor shower like this would be pretty cool, right? Because you still get like outdoorsy space just through the top because you obviously don't want your neighbors and you're very close in the city, like I think Paris, right? Everyone could see you. Something like this in city would make sense. You know, to having it like, a, you know, I'll say like an iconic property. I talk about it in one of my videos. Check it out. But it's about making it, you know, advancement in architectural design. But also you need to be in the right setting. So the right design in the right setting. It, this design is in a in one of the most beautiful places in the world. Everyone loves France. I'm going to go have some wine. But you're not allowed to watch anything. <laughs> you look at the wall. You know, it's like, why would you want to make something like this on a golf course? I ah. Take you have care. two showers, one indoor, one outdoor. You have your bench, brush nickel finishes, all open on top. This is phenomenal. Yeah, I'm so is, impressed. Yeah, this is really cool. Let's go back to the second floor landing now and check out the bedroom on the other side. <laughs> Pretty much the same layout. You get an awesome, spacious patio space, limestone <laughs> floors, and Mikey, we gotta talk. This is just funny. This is, <laughs> it's just funny. Like this would be a, you know, very high-end political white color jail sale to me. It's very private, they can go out, but uh, it's also luxury. This this would be it, you know, and, and you don't allow them to look at the golf course because that's their punishment. Remember the fireplace that we saw on the main level? Yeah. This might be the sleekest, flu system I've ever seen in my life. Even this looks architectural. Yeah, and I guess that's, is that stainless as well? They it is carried stainless. out that stainless from there all the way up. Yeah, I'm sure it's insulated. It's like this, that's just the flaw. Like, you know, nobody, they should have thought this out. Like, you know, when they put a fireplace there, this was an afterthought. Architect is like, is it okay to have a, you know, chimney up? Is it? Yeah, we make it look nice, you know? It's, uh, it sh this shouldn't even be there. It looks great. Very cool. Very like, cool, right? I feel like we don't see homes this modern in LA. This is like true, mo like minimalist modern. Okay, so do you agree? Do you think it's a minimalist architectural style? I guess you could define it as a minimalist. I would personally call it pillbox revival, right? And it's a sect within the dumbbellism, which is really a specializes for architects who really want to make a statement for the sake of making a statement and having a picture. Uh, in their website that would raise eyebrows and not consider any aspects of the person or the residents who wants to live there. Arvin, maybe this owner really, really wanted security. Let's assume so. This was like Vladimir Putin's wife, okay, wanted to come and, and have a house in, in south of France and security was off the essence, right? Then the architect literally built the house for that person alone. And I talk about this in my channel. The houses we build, if you decide to build a house for yourself, okay, you're not going to take it to your grave with you, okay? It's for everyone. You should build a house that would, you know, your grandkids would not cuss at you after you have passed away. Why the hell did you leave us with this? We can't even get rid of it. Somebody just come take it. And my personal belief is that it's, it's you're more than welcome to make architectural statements, and you should. You should try to innovate, right? But you should also consider the fact that most likely you're going to sell this property. You're not going to take it with you when you die. I think a true art is making a property that is ageless and coming up with a design that would find a wider reach of not just one person. You know, try to get at least 10% of the population to like it, right? Not like one family. If you like this video, you would certainly like this video. It's also a weird house. And I'll see you guys in the comments. Take care.